came out of a thrift store mystery box. I almost just donated it. And I'm like, Courtney, it's in the original box. Just list it real quick. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about 29 of my bread and butter bolos, items I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right, the first item I picked up, and you're gonna see in this video that I source things very cheap, and they sell for a nice profit. A lot of people skip the bread and butter, but I will tell you, this will keep you having sales all day, not all day, but every day, like on a regular basis. Like I have sales all the time, but I also have about 7,000 items in my eBay store. So um, you definitely have to build it up. All right, let's look at this. This is a vintage peanuts Snoopy Happy Holidays Woodstocks gift decorative flag. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold this for $22.75 plus shipping. The next item, I just love this one. It caught me off guard. I just pick up any toys pretty much at the Goodwill bins. I love picking up toys. I am like a Goodwill bins, I dig to the bottom type of girl. And if you wanna see my Goodwill bins videos, you should definitely check them out because you're gonna see how I find a lot of these items. And it's just incredible. But this little guy was a nice surprise. I've never heard of him. He is Fungus Among Us. He's a BioBuster 2006 action figure. And I got him out of the bin, so probably cost of goods, 50 cents or less. Sold it for $22.75 plus shipping. HTF stands for hard to find. That's a great keyword or three letters to put in your title. People know how to search it. This here came from the Goodwill bins also. These are the Sesame Street replacement um, couch and uh, chairs. And I, again, you know, probably about 50 cents, maybe 75 cents in these, if that. Sold these for $9.75 plus shipping. This is a little Avon pin. Hey, Bolo Buddies. I just wanted to thank everyone that has come over and followed me on Whatnot. I cannot believe how many of you have come over and just hung out in the chat. Some of you have bought from me. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Um, if you're not on Whatnot and you would like to join, I do have a referral link down below. You get $15 to shop if you use that referral link to join. But better yet, if you're looking for a new platform to sell on, oh my goodness, it is so fun. So after you join to buy, I have a seller's link. So if you're already on Whatnot as a buyer, you can use my seller's link. It's in the description. And that will tell Whatnot that Bolo Buddies sent you. It basically says that I referred you as a seller. <laughs> anyway, that's down in the description if you guys want to sell on whatnot. It is super, super fun. Do you have to build a following? Yes. It's just like any other platform. You have to build your business. On eBay, when you start, you don't automatically list five things and five things sell. You have to list more and list more and list more. But do I love it? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. So check out those links down below. I am having a show tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to come check out how it works. No pressure to buy. Just come hang out in the chat. And um, again, thank you all so much who have followed me and purchased from me. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. And here's a little preview of tonight's show. And then we will get back to the bread and butter bolos, items I pick up cheap and sell for $35 or less on eBay. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I decided I'm going to come on tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to pull out a bunch of vintage jewelry. Some of it's going to be signed. Some of it is just beautiful. I'm also going to do some of the crafter's items. The crafter's items are dwindling down, so we're going to start with jewelry and then do some crafter's bundles. We're going to be digging more into this. And I pulled out another bag, so lots of goodies. And here's that beautiful piece I couldn't find the other night that I'm bringing. It's a collectible pen from 1975. That's what it looks like on the back. It has the original box, and it's a pen pal. And I sold this for 50 cents, 
And the buyer was all in for $16.25 plus shipping. These sell great. Now, I will say that it has a glaze in it. And that's pretty much doesn't. It's no good. Um, it's pre-owned, but I don't think it's ever been used. But it's still considered pre-owned in my opinion. So I smelled it and you can't smell anything. So I'm just selling it as a collectible pen. The next item is this vintage 1993 Tyco Sesame Street Vehicles Elmo Cookie Monster Ernie. I got these out of a, let's see, this one came from a Teeble box, a toy box from Auctions for Use YouTube channel. So um, if you want to see the entire unboxing, that is over on this channel. And you can check that out, everything that I got in the toy box. This is from 1993. I ended up selling these for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino, they sell to resellers. They sell inventory. So if you guys are looking for a place to source online, I have been buying from them probably for three, maybe even close to four years. And I will link them down below. These are Clover Quick Yo-Yo Makers. If you ever see these, they are definitely a bolo. They sell quick. Um, I got these at an estate. My cost of goods was very minimal. I purchased in a bulk buy from them and I ended up selling these for $25 plus shipping. And I just ended up selling them in small lots like this because I had a whole bunch of them that were new old stock. This is a tiger's eye uh, long tassel necklace with a shell flower accent. It is tiger's eye. It's really, really pretty. I'm surprised this didn't sell quicker actually. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was 344 pounds of jewelry. And I just keep selling stuff over and over and over. A lot of it's long tail. Most of it, I shouldn't say most of it, but a good majority of it is still sitting in my money pile. I've done a lot of videos on it where I unboxed it, but I have not listed the stuff. So you guys can check out those older videos. I think I'm going to bring that stuff to whatnot um, just to try to move it quickly. Um, can I sell it on eBay for more? Yeah, I sold this for $20 plus shipping. Am I going to get that on Whatnot? Probably not. But Whatnot is more of a start your auction, people bid, and you're probably not going to make as much, but you're going to sell the items quicker. And that jewelry is just sitting there. And I have some incredible stuff. So if you're not following me on Whatnot, definitely um, join down below. There's a referral link. And that will get you $15 to shop if you use that link to join. If you're already on Whatnot, that link will take you over so you can follow me. So I would appreciate that greatly. I've already been selling on there and I plan to keep on selling over there because it's super fun. And I like to get to connect with you guys. This is a uh, Shock Squatch action figure, Ben 10. Got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $15.60 plus shipping. Toys are another thing that I have a money pile of toys. So I may be bringing those to whatnot also just to try to move things more quickly because I like to source and it's not doing any good sitting in my money pile. This is a Radco Happy New Year uh, Munchkin and it's from 2000. I sold this at for $17 best offer and I got it at a garage sale for $2 plus shipping. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sold it for $17 plus shipping and I got it at a garage sale for $2. Here is one of the sleepers. I call it a sleeper because nobody knows about it unless they watch my channel. Um, I buy these all the time. I see them and I get so excited because I pick them up super cheap. I have sold some of these for $25. It really depends on the book that you find. This one's a 1979 Kurt Adler book. They are Christmas ornaments and they are little books. And they look like this. And they are a awesome bread and butter bolo. They sell and they're usually cheap to find. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. I did take a best offer of $10 plus shipping on this one. Some of them go for much more. This is a Minecraft baby pig plush. Uh, new with tags. I got this at a garage sale for $2. And I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. This here is a vintage handcrafted Christmas ornaments, wooden dolls, girls knitted hats. This is a cute, super cute little set. Um, the box had some damage on it, but I'm really surprised it didn't sell for more because these are adorable. 
I got these out of a uh, mystery box, a Christmas mystery box from a thrift store. And I sold these for $8.68 plus shipping. This is a vintage Sesame Street Muppets Terra Toy dog figure. I figured out who this was by using Google Lens. Um, it's a great tool. It's a free tool. It's an app that you download. Um, I do have a video on how to use it, but I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a vintage Lottie Daw farm picture pocket um, flannel board cutouts. And I got this at a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. These are giant coloring books and I thought these were going to sell quicker and they actually sold pretty quick, but I thought they were going to be worth more. Um, I paid $5 for all of them and I ended up selling them for $30 plus shipping, which isn't bad, but these are jumbo. They're 11 by 14 and a half and they are super, super cool. I mean, they're Snow White, Cinderella. I don't know. I just thought that I thought they were going to be better than they were, I guess. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't as good as I thought. These are GHB button store card. They're Beatrice Potter's Miss Tittlemouse and Baby. They're little uh, buttons. How cute is that, right? Retail for $1.80 back in the day. New old stock. And I got these, uh, I think at a garage sale and a like, lot of stuff. And I sold these for $10 plus shipping. This next item here is this yoga kids stay and play balance ball. I got this at a garage sale for three bucks. I bought it because it was new. Um, still in the original packaging, and I sold this for $21.70 plus shipping. Vintage Christmas Kissing Chimes Plastic Santa and Mrs. Claus Mistletoe. How stinking cute is that? It's a little chime. I got this at a garage sale for a buck, and I sold this for $20 plus shipping. This next item I sold to a, a viewer and a member of my channel. This one went out to Flippin' Hot Finds, and I will link her down below. Um, Thank you so much for your purchase. I really appreciate it. These are Batman window stickers. They're die cut. And um, she bought two of them for $12.38 and she paid shipping. So um, she's incredible. And she has an awesome eBay store. So check that out down below. And I still have three of these available if anyone is interested. The next item is this TL Toys singing plush Christmas tree flashing lights sounds. And it is animated. I got this at the Goodwill for $4 and I sold it for $27.50 plus shipping. Again, I always pick up anything animated and I have a video in the description to show how it works and that it works. The next item is this Goble uh, We Not, Why Not, I don't know how to say it, uh, Christmas Snowman and he is missing his broom. And I got this out of the Goodwill bins and this is the one where I had to show you guys my haul because my phone ran out of juice and I had to go plug it into my car and show you from my shopping cart what I bought. Um, I was getting ready to leave and they're like, we're bringing out a whole bin of Christmas items. And I'm like, ah, I have to stay. Um, but I didn't, I couldn't record. So unfortunately you get to see it from my cart, but it was an incredible haul. So definitely check out that video. Uh, cost of goods was probably about a buck and I sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. This next item is Here Comes the Mummy's Carnal Carnival uh, T-shirt. It's a funk rock tee. I'm so bad with keywords. It is a T-shirt that I picked up at a thrift store for 50 cents, and I sold this for a best offer of 20 plus shipping. I really try to stay away from clothes, but um, that day, for some reason, I looked at the T-shirts, and I found a single stitch that was like a dinosaur um, and it sold, I think for over a hundred dollars. I don't know why I looked that day, but I did. And if I can find a single stitch t-shirt, okay, I'm going to pick those up. But this one, I don't think it was single stitch. The next item is this home interior snowman. It came out of a thrift store mystery box. I almost just donated it. And I'm like, Courtney, it's in the original box. Just list it real quick. And I did. And it sold super quick for $18 plus shipping. This is a Cabbage Patch birth certificate. I bought some Cabbage Patch clothing at a garage sale and they just threw in the certificates for free. I think I have five or six of them. I think I've sold two or three of them. And so cost of goods was nothing. I uh, sold this one for $14 plus shipping. 
the Cabbage Patch Kids clothes, I think I'm going to bring to whatnot because I just want to move them quick. I don't want to research them. I don't want to, I, I just don't want to mess with them. So um, I think I'm going to bring those to whatnot. This next item is a Bow Bunny uh, partial white canvas. It's a, like a mini album. I got this from that, I think that Creative Memories lot from that garage sale, that huge lot I got. I got probably about a dollar in this. I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. These crafters items for like um, albums and scrapbooking, they do pretty good on eBay. This cow took a long time to sell. I got this at an estate sale for a dollar and I sold it for $13.64 plus shipping. It does have a porcelain face. It has the original tags. It's a vintage showstoppers babes in the wild plush doll cow. This here came from my hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge that I put together. I have a bingo card. I invited a bunch of YouTubers to go to the Goodwill Ben's and try to find all of the items on the bingos card. I challenged them to record it and make a video. If you put hashtag Ben's Bingo into the YouTube search bar, it will pull up everybody that participated. And this is still open for anybody that is watching that wants to do it. Um... If you have a YouTube channel, what you do is you go to my community page and you'll probably have to scroll down and look for the Ben's bingo card. If you do the challenge, um, hashtag it in the title Ben's bingo, send me a message either on Instagram or Facebook with your video link and I will uh, share it in my Facebook group that has like 80,000 people in it. So we'll get you some exposure there. And um, it's just a super fun way to collaborate with other YouTubers. So if you would like to still do that, I'm leaving it open for people to join in. And um, I think when everybody like, like somebody else jumps in, it kind of brings back all the, like people that watch that video will go and watch the other videos. So it kind of keeps the challenge alive in the algorithm. And if people keep doing it, it's a great way to get new subscribers and viewers to your channels. So um, definitely check that out on my community page. But anyway, this one um, I talk about in my Ben's Bingo video. You should definitely go watch it because there's a little story behind this one. I sold this for $24 plus shipping. This sock monkey came from the free plush from a viewer. I will link her down below her eBay store. I sold this for $31 plus shipping. Um, it is a sock monkey. It did have some dirt on the feet and I just disclosed that it had the original tag, but $31 plus shipping and that sold pretty quickly. The next item is this vintage lighted Christmas mouse nightlight. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $24.80 plus shipping. And this flew out of my eBay store, sold super fast. All right, you guys, that was 29 bread and butter bolos. Let me know in the comments which bolo was your favorite. Um, do you sell these types of items? Or are these items that you really just don't have interest in? Um, I like things that are easy to ship, things that I can pick up cheap, and things that sell for a decent profit. Again, all of these items sold for $35 or less. Do I sell things for big money? Yes, I do have separate videos. I call those my big money bolos. And you can check those out as well. Um, if you go to the playlist, um, it'll say big money bolos or something or my big money bolos. I don't know. There's a playlist. And if you check that out, they'll all be right there for you. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. And thanks for watching.